You asked, how much energy do I need to recharge my EV? This is a very common question amongst EV owners or people who are looking at purchasing an EV because it requires quite a detailed and thorough response rather than a simple short answer saying 10 kilowatt hours or something like that. Um, but it's an important question because it will determine the long-term running costs of the vehicle. Before we go into the answer, let's first define the term kilowatt hours. Watts in kilowatt hours are the unit of power, which is a combination of amp and voltage measurements. In simple terms, what it means, it refers to how much power is able to run through any given power our supply. Therefore, electric car batteries have the capacity measured in kilowatt hours, meaning how many kilowatt can go out of the battery for how many hours. So in Australia, the current electricity prices are somewhere between 30 and 45 cents. So when I do the calculation, let's go with 35 cents as an average. And on average, it's about um, 11, maybe to 19 kilowatt hours that one needs to charge it to drive 100k, which in terms of money is somewhere between 450 and eight to nine dollars, one will require to spend to drive an EV, which is obviously much less than a petrol car. Now, in saying all of this, the most important factor to consider the cost regarding the price of e-charging is the charging station that you use. The most common way is the home and there is a plug-in wall outlet that can actually be possibly cheapest. But the disadvantage is that that type of charging will take quite a bit longer, possibly all night and sometimes even a little bit more. Then the next one is the public charging and the cost of this will vary on the brand of charging stations used. But if you do it in a shopping center, it could be free. Let's have a look at the most common cars in Australia, being EVs, of what it will cost you on average to charge to drive 100k. And here's the list and the vehicles and the cost. Let's begin. A Tesla Model 3 has a range of 491 kilometers, uses on average 11.9 kilowatt hours of battery life to drive 100k and will cost you therefore around $4.20. A MG ZS EV has a range of 263 kilometers, uses 17.3 kilowatt hours to drive 100k and therefore the cost is around six dollars. A Nissan Leaf has a range of 270 to 300 kilometers, uses 17 kilowatt hours, is about six dollars. There's also a Nissan Leaf that actually lets you run a little bit longer with a special bigger battery. Mitsubishi Outlander, the PHEV, only has a 54 kilometer range because it uses also the petrol engine uses 21 kilowatt hours for 100 k's being $7.35. The Porsche Taycan, quite a heavy car, range of 369 kilometers, 20.2 kilowatt hours, so quite a bit more than many others, and $9.17 to run. The Hyundai Kona, range 305 kilometers, 14.3 kilowatt hours for 100 k, and it will cost you about five bucks. The Volvo, XC40 has a range of 418 kilometers, 25.5 kilowatt hours, and therefore an $8.90 cost to run 100 k's. The Hyundai Ionic 5 has a good range of 451 kilometers, but 17.9 kilowatt hours means I pay about $6.25. And finally, in our list, the Mercedes EQ8 has a range up to 400 kilometers. 17.1 kilowatt hours to drive the 100k, which means you pay $6. So we can really see here that obviously the technology, the weight of the car, uh, all of these things affect the kilowatt hours and there's quite a wide range. I think we had 13 kilowatt hours as kind of one of the lowest and the Porsche was hitting it with 21 kilowatt hours as being one of the heavier cars, also possibly designed for performance. But one of the key learning out of this is that all of these vehicles will cost you less to run than a petrol powered car. The other cost factors that determine how much the electric car will cost to charge is obviously your driving environment and how much it costs you to get the electricity. So we actually have a website calculator where you can compare an electric car versus a petrol car to work out approximately how much it will cost to run that car per 100k. Now one spoiler. Boom! <coughs> spoiler alert. At this 
point in time, the government is not charging any tax to EVs to drive on the road. So while we're saying EVs are much cheaper to run than petrol cars, I would say in the future, there will be something like a distance tax put on EVs, which will increase the cost of driving slightly, but it will most likely still be cheaper than the petrol cars right now. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.